imagine there's a storm coming. It's currently on the ocean. It's powerful. Meteorologists use lots of signals to tell us about how dramatic it actually is, right? Where it's going to end up, they're not quite sure about that, but it's actually really, really important because where it hits, it could have dramatic impact. We all know sometimes nothing happens at all, which means it just took a different path or it, it became so weak before that it just died off and never, never um, hit land as, at all. That is because a storm is an emergent phenomenon and there's lots of variables going into this and the ch small changes in certain variables can have big consequences on, on where that storm is actually going to. Emergence and complexity um, exists in so many places all the world. Traffic flows in a city, it's cells in our body, it's, uh, it's our brain, all of these are complex systems. Usually you describe it in the way that the whole is larger than the sum of its parts. So it means if I start measuring just the properties of one cell, it doesn't mean that I understand the macroscopic system of the entire body. Our work relates to this because we want to understand the changes in those systems better. So we want to understand what has to come together for a macroscopic system change. So a change that has impact on the overall system some of our students are working on, for example, understanding the dynamics of um, human language around disruptive world events. I have one current PhD student who's working on um, the dynamics of um, social media crises or um, online firestorms. We really hope for developing something that, that helps people understand situations that we cannot understand at the moment. For example, detecting seizures, um, understanding climate change, understanding why does this antibiotic develop um, antimicrobial resistance. Thinking about the cyclone again, we would be able to say, okay, the change in temperature coincides with a change in air pressure, and that actually has an impact on the path of the storm. The unique aspect of, of our work is actually that, that I'm interested in coincidences. Okay, so these are things that are rare. We want to improve our ability to predict those substantial significant changes that are dependent on things that are rare.